Hello Aquarius, I hope you're okay. I'm Clarissa, thank you so much for joining me. Going to be doing a general and love reading for Aquarius. So let's see what's in store for Aquarius. And Aquarius, um, there was a competition last month where you could win a birth chart reading with myself. And the winner of the competition is Jasmine Brewer. So Jasmine, congratulations, well done honey. And I love the competition so much, I'm gonna continue it. So if you'd like a birth chart reading, then all you have to do is become a subscriber and I'll announce the winner in the next month video. Okay Aquarius, let's get into it. Let's see what's available for you. Okay, the hanged man. So the hanged man is a major kind of for Pisces, but it also speaks of uh, going through a process where you're having to change your mind about something, where things have slowed down to a point it gives you an awareness, awareness of the things that need to change. So you could be feeling like uh, there's some change that needs to be made, but you're slowing down so in a way that it's almost as though the slower you go, the more you see. So then you can have um, an awareness of the things that need to be changed. Uh, maybe it's a mindset that needs to be changed. Maybe it's somebody around you whose mindset needs to be changed. Or maybe it's your own mindset that needs to be changed. It's coming to a new state of awareness here. Six of Pentacles. Six of Pentacles is a very karmic um, balance card where it um, it talks about being able to receive and to be able to give, but you can only give what you have. And you can only receive what is for you. So you could be feeling like maybe somebody has something for you, or maybe a gift for you, or a financial gift, or a offer of security, or you yourself may be wanting to offer some stability. Maybe you're changing perspective, you're thinking about how to uh, make things more balanced in a monetary sense or in a financial sense. There's some things that maybe here that you want to sort out regarding finances and just having that equal feel of what finances should be. Seven of Pentacles, yeah, you're working towards something. Seven of Pentacles indicates that you are working towards something. You are placing the seeds um, in your in, in your environment and you're just working to see how, you're waiting to see how they're going to grow. So you've got a few ideas here. Um, maybe it's a, a gift that you're receiving and you're wanting to know how to put, implement it into something. Um, it could be, again, you want, you want to give a gift to somebody um, where uh, you, you can see that they may want to, maybe it's an investment or something like that you want to give to uh, to help them grow. But it does speak about, um, you know, changing the mind in a way that it, it builds on some monetary value here. Four of Cups, There's, because if it's attached to love, there is an uncertainty about how the love is going to be uh, received, how the love is going to be shared. Uh, the Four of Cups on the on the hanged man, you know, indicates there is some um, change in the mind regarding what you think about love, what you think about a connection in love, or some maybe someone towards you. You're having to slowly take the time. Um, maybe you're thinking. Will a, love, will a love be accepted? Will, a, will you be able to accept a love offer? You're just in a, you're in a undecided uh, mode right now. Where you just let's ponder on something. Let's think about something before we make an actual move towards something.
yeah, two of pentacles, <laughs> again, this is really about balance, really about uh, wanting to make something equal, um, you know, having to decide which which way to go. It really does speak about being in, in a uh, in-between energy at the moment, where you're just, it's the, that place is, uh, you know, it's just where you can see all. So you're having to decide at the moment what steps do you take, especially surrounding finances, where are you going to put, put in your finances, how are you going to make things to be balanced or continue to be balanced. And again, who is um, who is representing your sense of security? What is your represent what is your value in security at the moment? You're really uh, thinking about these things now. Seven of Cups, yeah. So yeah, I think that's because it's, it's a lot of things are overwhelming you at the moment. This is why you're wanting to take a step back. The Seven of Cups indicates that there's a, a lots of emotional pools to choose from, and there's lots of different emotions that you've got to tap into, whether they're yours or whether they're in your environment. Um, especially if you're on the Seven of Pentacles, it's as though um, having to wait for something to grow opens up this um, expansion of emotions, and so you're trying to figure out which one you want to choose from, which one you want to focus on. So at the moment you could be feeling a bit overwhelmed because you feel that you've got to make some choices, but what you want to do is to take a step back and allow things to just change so to give you a better focus on things. The ace, of, the ace of Cups. Yeah, very good. This is definitely speaks about maybe wanting to take a, a risk in uh, some type of love, you know, in some type of uh, emotional connection. Wanting to start anew with, uh, you know, certain um, emotional bonds, changing the way that you feel about love. So get the definitely there is a sense about uh, you want to just introduce something new into the concept of love or change the way uh, it feels. But there is an uncertainty as to whether it will be received, whether this love that you want to you know, have this newness with or this, this change in, whether it will be whether it will go the way that you want it to. So I think you're just you're just taking your time. Taking your time. There's no rush, Aquarius. <laughs> ten of ten of cups. Because you know, you like you know where it's going. It's just that you just want to see a little bit more. It's almost like you want to see a bit more growth. You want to see a bit more uh, stability because you know, or you, you want to see a bit more, uh, you know, happiness in the in their sense of growing, you know, in, in what you're seeing. I think you, you know, the, the connection that you want, you want them to grow in stability. You want them to, to remain in their independence. Um, but you also want to see their happiness. You also want to make them happy. This, this is a really nice reading. It will be somebody that wants to make you happy, wants to offer you some more security because they feel like this is something that you want, you know, something that you want to feel more balanced in. Queen of Cups, yeah, so Queen of Cups, you could be connecting with a water sign person, um, so Scorpio, Pisces or Cancer, but it's also somebody who embodies very, uh, you know, spiritual, empathic, uh, watery gifts, somebody who uses their intuition to um, maneuver in the world, they use uh, the, the sensation of feeling, of knowing, yeah, there's an emotional intelligence here. So again, this could be the, the energy that you're embodying at, at the moment as well, really, again, taking that place of solace and just understanding what you need, your emotional awareness, what we need to do to connect to build on things, to be able to decipher which emotional pool you want to choose from, where you want to have your emotions spent and not feeling like it's been wasted in other things. Okay, Aquarius, let's get some clarification for you.
Okay, let's clarify the hangman. Five of Swords, yeah, because there's been some anguish here in the past three, in the past here where you've uh, your association with love has been a bit um it's been a bit of a tussle uh you you know it's been uh, something that hasn't you know, felt comfortable in the mind your perception of love is changing here again i feel like um your association with love in the past has just created this hesitation and so now you're you're having to come out of this mindset of hesitation or mindset of disturbance and that the and, and like a negative association regarding love you're just you're wanting to you're like you're pursuing the the need to change because you want to meet love where it is okay let's clarify the six of pentacles The tower, yeah. The tower indicates there could be some sharp changes in the way um, things are done. So again, uh, with on top of the six of pentacles, it could be meaning that um, you know there's a situation that around you where there's a giving and receiving, and there has to be the sharp giving, like you know there has to be a, you know an instant give or instant receive. The, it indicates with the tower also it's Scorpio, major crime for Scorpio, but it indicates um, you know something maybe coming towards you that has been owed to you for over a long time of process or or even something that you have to give um but it's the time to receive it it makes changes and and it, it creates um you know a definite shake up in in the way things perceive regarding money so let's clarify the seven of pentacles hang man <laughs> <laughs> the hangman again I, again I feel like there's some changes that you want to make again this is this speaks about financially as well this speaks about your security on top of this uh, seven of pentacles so you're having to change the way you work also your the, the seeds that you're you're planting now and the things that you're working to is slightly different from what you've uh, what you've uh, always known there's a new way that you're injecting I feel like you're using some of this um, I, I, what I hear is it's coming from the heart it's there's something more that you're more in tune to it's more you it's more something that helps you with your lifestyle and so again i think these are creating some changes for you um but it, it it's created a new awareness of how you want to uh, do things of i feel like you it's something you feel like you, should, you would have done ages ago but it, this is just been this this is the time that you've had to to do things it's time you've had to make changes and you're allowing them to happen you just want to see how they unfold here Okay, let's clarify the uh, Four of Cups. Eight of Wands. The Eight of Wands indicates you know, fast action coming towards you. And on top of the Four of Cups, you could be, this could be what it is. You could hit a point where something happens and it just creates a trigger where you become, you go from this undecided energy to this okay, forthright energy, or again towards you, something happened where the love connection is like first they've been like a dilly dallying. <laughs> The words on Jesus today. <laughs> they're you know, contemplating and then they decide they want to come towards you. So this it indicates because of the, the sense of passion, the sense of passion that may be seen from you or the sense, the sense of passion they have towards you. They wanted to come towards you. Okay, let's clarify the two of pentacles. Three of Swords. The Three of Swords indicates, you know, there's a, um, it's almost like a heartbreak card, betrayal card, uh, a three-way energy. So you could be feeling like, um, you know, we've got to this point uh, of uh, wanting balance because there's been multiple energy spent, um, where you feel like um, your energy was maybe it wasn't valued in the way it should have been. Let's put it like that. You know, however that means to you, you wasn't valued in a situation that should have been a partnership, should have been 
based on security should have been um, making everybody uh, valued and feel comfortable, secure. There was, um, you know, an instance in this, um, some, and this is, this is why you could be having the doubts. You know, there's, there's, well, there's five of swords here, and the hangman energies come out twice. There's doubts in what, um, this, you know, love and security mean because you felt like you had those things, and then uh, things got shifted, things changed, and it was created a sore point. <laughs> You know, it's created a sore point in the heart regarding your association to love. So you're having to, you know, have um, spend your time, um, you know, emotionally growing in the um, in, in regards to what it means. You know, growing your emotional intelligence regarding how you know maybe just wanting to not have the association that love hurts. You know, so you're wanting to work on that. Thinking, you know, you know there is. There is room for happiness. I just need to see it. <laughs> and then when it is presented to you, it's, it's, it's uh, got to be accepted instead of the, the doubts. Okay, let's clarify the Seven of Cups. Yeah, the Page of Swords, yeah. I, yeah it's just so good. I mean, I feel like um, Aquarius, you know, you're definitely wanting to, you know, at least you're um, wanting to grow in this concept of love. This is the Page of Swords is an air sign card as well, so you can be connecting with Aquarius, Libra, or Gemini. But it really speaks of, you know, almost a tutelage where you're te teaching yourself um, how to grow in in certain emotional spaces, um, learning which emotions to choose, which is the best for you, which work, works for you, um, and just you know you could be also be studying as well. Um, but on this, on top of the seven of cups, it indicates you're trying to, to almost like learn which which is which is the best emotion. You're grow, you're growing through your emotional intelligence. It's also means somebody's um, learning learning about you. <laughs> this could also mean that. Someone is studying you, honey. <laughs> okay, let's clarify the Ace of Cups. Ten, yes, Ten of Wands, just love this. This, this just means that you're, you know, wanting to actually physically move out of a situation. And um, you're wanting to, you know, again, on top of the Ace of Cups, begin again. In, in terms of the way love feels and you may be feeling like you've got to physically move out of something or remove something or um, remove some negative associations because you need to feel the newness of what love is. Okay, let's clarify the Ten of Cups. Oh yes, Ace of Pentacles. <laughs> love this. Yes, eight of pentacles on top of the ten of cups. Yes. Again, this this um, reading is strictly just reiterating what I'm, I've been saying. The eight of cups. Uh, sorry. Yes, the eight of pentacles on top of the ten of cups. It's new in love. It's just like the ten of wands on top of the ace of <laughs> on top of the eight of cups. Is again wanting to um, feel fully fulfilled in love, searching for that and knowing that it's, you know, it's almost like it's within reach and taking the risks of what it is, you know, and knowing that um, you can uh, accept that offer or give that offer of security and know that love is going to be there. It's been, it's, you know, um, cutting, the, cutting the emotional ties of the past and, and the uh, past associations here. Okay, let's clarify the Queen of Cups. Yeah, Six of Wands. This is such a good reading for your Aquarius. I'm so happy for you. Six of Wands is it's being celebrated. <laughs> the Queen of Cups and the, the Six of Wands. It's you being celebrated for being able to grow in this uh, emotional awareness, emotional intelligence, 
being uh, being recognised for the way it's not just serving you but it's helping others. Uh, you're growing in this stage, and I think this is what you're implementing. You're you're growing your um, your ability to um, heal certain things for yourself, and then you're using it in a way that heals others. So amazing. Okay, Aquarius, let's get some love oracle cards. Let's just spin everything on its head with these cards, shall we? <laughs> see talking interested conversing more awaiting message arrive text call email hoovering <laughs> yes and i just definitely feel like yeah maybe you're waiting for a message maybe you're again this is this is with, with the energy of the hangman it talks about pondering and waiting for certain things to come into almost alignment into um, emotional awareness into the a newer um, perception and so again you could be um, in this feeling in this period and this is what this card re refers to let's get another card here healing heart, healing from heartbreak, freedom from toxic relationship or addiction. Mm. Yes, because we've got, <laughs> we've got this center card here, three of swords on top of, uh, what was it, the two of pentacles. Yeah, so it really refers to, um, you know, feeling almost betrayed from a situation where it should have been balanced based on security, you put love into it, you put uh, your all emotions into it. And then, you know, it was dragged through the mud through some 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 way. So you're now you're having to heal from that um, and not feel um, you know, abandoned by the concept of love. You're, you're having to go through the, the process of healing and, and understanding that you are also just a part of somebody else's expression and the way they, they need to express. So having that forgiving heart there. Okay, let's get another card. Coffee cup, meeting, conversing, savoring the moment, feeling uplifted friendship. Yes, yeah, I think definitely this is, you could be at the start of something new and seeing how it wants to go. Uh, you could be wanting to introduce some conversations. Again, it speaks of, there's a lot of communication cards here. So it, again, it speaks of how are you going to converse? How are you going to converse your heart now? How are you going to convert this, converse this heart space into something uh, in, that you really want so you can attract the love in? Okay, let's get some angel cards, Aquarius. Okay, opportunity and change, yes. Definitely speaks about allowing yourself room to grow, allowing yourself to see the openings of where love can be. Um, again, the things that you're wanting to change, um, it, it speaks of the things that you're growing um, and allowing yourself the opportunity to um, see how it changes and to what it does for you, how it feels for you. And um, yeah, it's just wonderful already. Let's do another one. <laughs> Take charge and action. Yeah, yeah. This is definitely like eight of wands energy. It's just 
fast moving, you know, being very decisive about where you want to take things. Um, I definitely feel like this speaks to the direction that you want to uh, grow things and there's something that you're putting time and effort into and it's something to do with the emotional space, you're, you know, it's helping to change people's emotions because of your own sense of healing, you're taking charge of your own healing. Spiritual growth. Oh, this is this is literally the hangman card. <laughs> this definitely speaks about creating, you know, this uh, intuitive, empathic, emotional awareness, emotional intelligence in the way that you know how, and using it in a space that is, you know, it connects with oneness. It connects with source. You know, you're understanding the path that you're on. You're understanding why. Uh, and you understand how to nurture it and not the, you know, be de you know, defensive towards it. You know how to harness the way it makes you feel so you can use it for yourself and again, use it for, other, for the growth of others, for the healing sensation towards others. <sighs> I love it for you, Aquarius. Thank you so much for, for letting me be a part of your reading, your energy. <laughs> and if you like the messages in the reading, please like, subscribe and share. Don't forget the competition where you can become um, a winner of a birth chart reading. All you have to do is become a subscriber. Easy. Okay, until next time, take care. Bye.